Oh no, this is getting really scary. Hey everybody, Peppa here. Hi, Daddy and Mommy are here too. Hi everyone. Today we will play Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. What to expect from it we have no idea, but I can assume one thing, scary will be all. You're right, Peppa. It's going to be scary for everyone. But don't worry, we're with you. Get ready to play. Aha! The new scary cat threw me down some kind of pipe. The place looks like a room if you don't clean it for a week. Careful, Peppa. The walls are starting to shrink. If you don't do something, you're going to get crushed. Not a good start, is it? I see it. There's a way up. Too bad it's made of trash. It's hard to climb. See if you can find any more trash to climb on. Yay! I did it! I thought I was on the verge of death. And yay, I did it the first time. I just need to figure out how to get out of here. At first glance, the path seems very confusing, and at every turn it wants to scare me with its horror. Look, Pepper, this is where the real test begins for you. You are familiar with parkour, but just this knowledge, you will not be enough. You need to think how to jump so that it will be successful. It's simple. Some go down, others go up. The important thing is to jump off in time. I don't really want to get crushed. I haven't even seen one monster yet. Yes, I did it. Scary hallways. That's what scares me the most. And also, if I turn back, there will be a monster standing there. Just standing there. It won't jump out. It won't scare me in any way. But just his huge face in front of me. That's something I definitely can't expect. There she goes. She talked and died. All of it. The most important thing is to pay attention. You have to run fast and that's it. Although mindfulness may be my enemy in case I'm being watched, I don't want to see that. Don't worry, I'll tell you if I see anyone. <laughs> EU, I barely jumped in. A little more and I would have fallen again. Oh no, what just went in there? Don't tell me it was a haggy waggy. That's right, it was him. I got goosebumps, it was so creepy and unexpected. You have to go straight to him. Hey, I don't want to go in there. He's going to get me there. Courage, Peppa. We've got to get on with the story. Scary and smelly ventilation. If he's going to be right here, I say play without me. I just had to see his feet, his big feet. The room. It's looking a little bit like a safe place. See if there's anything useful in here. There's a TV here. Do you want to watch your favorite cartoons? Or a horror movie? Forget the horror movie. Ha, 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 ha. Very funny. Let's see you yell when we see a live Haggy Waggy. Then I'll be the one laughing. There's another trap. You have to turn on the power. This is the very beginning of the game. In the beginning is always the easiest puzzles. Two batarea should be somewhere very close. With each solved puzzle brings us closer to the monster. But the feeling of what comes next is stronger than fear. Found it. Is this a puzzle? It's just a warm up for now. I hope I don't have to do math. You sure don't want to do math in this atmosphere. Oh, look, it's a blue elephant. Cartoon monster portraits are so cute. I don't know about you, but I really like the way they're drawn. I want to put them on my avatar, on YouTube, for example. What have we got here? A new torture machine? No, another test. Yeah, the glove means we have to shoot it. There are handles on the top. It's probably a twist thing. At least I can get my hands on it and spin it. But there's a problem. What's the point? I could just shoot the glove somewhere. When you pick up a laser, that's probably the direction the glove will go. It seems to me that this way you can cut the electricity with the glove. Try to find the source. Yes, that's right. You're so smart, Dad. Now I can channel electricity with a glove and that'll give me light. I think it's already lit. You take electricity with one glove and give it away with the other. That's the essence of the mechanism. Try channeling it properly into an empty cell. Power the handrails. They'll open the doors. That's it. That's exactly right. When you don't know what you're doing, everything seems impossible. But now I understand how this trap works. I'll solve them in five minutes. We're on our way to something bigger. It's a very creepy looking subway. What's next? Wow, this place looks really big. It's like a fork. I wish I could explore, but I know there's monsters around. I feel like I'm fighting two personalities. The game's driving you crazy. 
Don't give in to that feeling. So far, nothing bad has happened. Maybe it won't happen at all. We're having fun. As for where to go, I suggest the building in the middle. Fun? Oh, that's right. Fun. Especially when you have to go into that basement. The only thing scarier than basements... No, basements are the scariest. Sorry, addicts. You lose. I think I found the door that's signaling me. Look, it's me. It's the door you need. There's too much space. It's easy to get lost. Pepper, are the doors talking to you already? This game is really driving you crazy. You're running around like you're not afraid of anyone. But what if you get grabbed by a haggy, waggy, waggy? No, I get the point of the game. It's not scary. It's just creepy in a creepy way. I walk through those doors and there's nothing scary about it. I bet there isn't. Ha <laughs> ha. Usually when people say that, it's the last words before the worst scary movie ever. You're bringing on the worst Peppa. Why don't you just turn around and go down to that basement and not come out? Honestly, I'm kind of scared now, for real. Don't be scared, Mom. For now, yes, it's a very creepy place. But we need to figure out what we need to do here. I think I'm on to something here. What the hell is that? Whoa, it's a new glove. What's its power? It looks more technological, so maybe I can just electrocute myself. Not that that would be too easy. Maybe it's a weapon. I could just make everyone here afraid of me and become queen of the Haggy Waggy. Oh, dreams, dreams, dreams. Looks like it's just a glove for the big jump. We're gonna need it. It only looks silly at first glance. Here comes the first serious obstacle. It's a good thing this glove was here. What is that horrible red liquid spilled? Could it be poison? I'm afraid to imagine. Peppa, do all your jumps with great care. I do everything perfectly, Mom. Well, what's this? I can't get on it at all. You see at the bottom, it has a place to pull, too. Try it. All right. Uh-huh. Oops. Got it. Thanks, Dad. You're so smart, or it's more like you designed the whole thing. Please don't tell me you created all these monsters just to mess with me. How'd you guess? Ah ha 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 ha. Okay, I'm kidding. How's that red pile of poison feel? Nice? Ha 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 ha. Okay, let's just focus on the jump. At first glance, it seems impossible. It's too far to jump. But trust me, nothing is impossible. I'm just going to take a longer run. No, Peppa, you're in the wrong place. Daddy's right. Maybe you just need to speed up a little more. I don't think you should jump here. It's all a trap. You've already been tricked. I've never been tricked. I'm the smartest. OK, Peppa, I made a joke once. Doesn't mean I always make jokes. I'm serious now. Just try to jump ahead. You'll get lucky. Yay, I did it. It was a fluke. But you didn't fool me. It was the right thing to do. Oh, yeah. Time to push the big red button. I hope it's not from a nuclear weapon. You've started some kind of scary process. Probably making those monsters huggy-wuggy. Good for Pepper. They're all gonna get eaten. Worse. The power's out everywhere. Before, we'd at least see that the monster was here, but now we can only dream of that possibility. Oh, that's right. When there was the slightest source of light, it was a ray of hope for me. But now I'm scared, too. I'm not just getting goosebumps. I'm getting goosebumps all over my body. I'm so glad you're playing and I'm just watching. Oh, come on. The lights are out. It doesn't really change anything. It may have gotten a little scary. But the monsters were scary even with the lights on. They're huge and powerful. We'll find a way to deal with them. But the lights need to be on. Nothing's changed? You mean nothing's changed? Pepper, you must be a very shallow girl. Or you can't see what's in front of you. This place is even creepier than it was. Abandoned live toy factory? Welcome to the list of horror stories that will appear in my dreams. I'm brave, yes. I can show that haggy, waggy, waggy that fear is like air to me. I can just breathe it and I won't care. It's good for me. I'm taking the keys and finding a new location. Now we're going to have some fun. A scary house. If you go to scare a child, start telling him a scary story that somewhere there is a scary house and in it lives a witch. 
Congratulations, you've accomplished that. Now the baby won't sleep well anymore. Please don't do it again. Okay, I was just saying I'm not scared. I take it back. It's very scary and suspicious. What's that red smoke? Poison? I don't want to be poisoned. It's boring. Do I want to be scared? No, I don't want to be scared either. Pepper, you probably want Huggy Wuggy to come out now, but not the monster. He'd have a peaceful smile, put his hands behind his back, and then he'd pull out a delicious cake. Is that what you want? Listen, that would be great. A carrot cake like that. Mmm, I can't wait to see it. I'm drooling. There's an ominous long corridor in front of you, and you're talking about cake? Are we on the same planet now? Maybe I'm missing something. What is it? How does a small house like this have a hallway in the basement? We can't exactly walk out of here in peace. We have to have some kind of distraction, don't we? We can see what's around us, too. It's exactly as it is in horror movies involving corridors. It's usually the scariest place in the house. You're sitting in a room, it's nice and safe. But you just have to go to the bathroom. You have to go down that horrible, scary hallway. Oh, it's Pepper! Open the door from the room and it turns into a portal to hell! You don't see monsters, you just see consuming darkness. Nothing but black. But it feels like it's looking at you and there's someone there. You enter it and as you walk down the corridor, it's as if someone is following you. The more scared you are, the more you feel it. You start walking faster and the feeling grows to the point where you can feel the darkness coming at your heels. Yeah, it's really scary. And I have that feeling too. Don't you think this hallway is a little weird? I can't figure out what's wrong, but there's something wrong with it. When you walk down it, you feel like you've forgotten something. Or maybe you're going the wrong way. What's it like for you? Hmm. Yes, indeed. He's weird. We've been here almost two minutes. No one's scared yet, but we haven't gotten anywhere yet. Our conversations are distracting us from the overwhelming fear. Oh, I didn't notice. There's something weird, too. When we entered this house, everything was covered in red smoke. Either we're having a hallucination that makes a very small corridor seem endless, or it's a large and impenetrable maze. Sounds crazy. Maybe we're trapped forever. Just when we were talking about really creepy stuff, you start scaring us even more. Well, thanks, Dad. That was great. An endless maze? How does a Haggy Waggy have that kind of power? It's stupid. It's probably just a hallucination, which means it's gonna end. I think you're both right. It's a hallucination and a maze at the same time. There's nothing good about it, but you know what to expect. Walk down that corridor until the toxic effect of the poison wears off. It usually doesn't last very long. Maybe the monster is trying to show us something. Well, we're being told a story here, and we're not listening. Oh, is it just me? Or is there someone standing over there, in the dark? Or is it the wallpaper? It's a great renovation. It's called Pee in the Bed at Night. Peppa, he's gone! It's the monster, the cat! I forgot his name. Would you viewers please write in the comments what this monster's name is? It slipped my mind. I don't get it. Are we even going to get anywhere? He's already shown his ugly face. We're shitting our pants, but we're not going anywhere. It's like it's a real eternal curse. We crossed a demon. Sorry, demon. Go home already. You shouldn't have come into this house. What's your hurry, Pepper? Look around. We're actually in paradise. Yeah, the monster showed up for a second. It's scary. But he just walked away. He could have attacked us. And there's light all around. It's bright. It's warm. We've been walking for so long and nothing scary has happened. So we can look at the situation positively. But I get it. You want to go to that hall where the lights went out. Just where they're probably covered in haggis-waggies. We just didn't get to them. No. I don't want to go in there. I want to go into the heart of this house. I'm starting to feel like there's a lot more to it than this endless hallway. Like, why don't I feel like eating? No matter how many times I go out, I can't think of a tasty sausage. And although I would like it now, and then a carrot cake, yes, it would be super. Oh, more sausage. I'd just eat a fried haggis waggis waggis waggis. I'd barbecue it. 
Maybe that's not why we're here at all. The whole factory doesn't end with one toy. I think it's someone more cunning and clever. But we'll see your real face. Finally, we're here. But where? What is this place? Is this the home of the Haggy Waggy? Should I go back? Maybe it wasn't a loop. Maybe it was just a long hallway. Okay, it's more like some kind of orphanage. Maybe there really were kids living here, poor kids. I imagine they had to go outside for a walk every time. Welcome home. What was that? It was really scary and unexpected. He came right out of the TV and ate me. But that's not all. It's not a mission lost. It's like we thought it was a big hallucination. Oh my god, Pepper. Are you okay? You sound fine. Okay, let's get through this moment and move on. What do we learn from this event? That there's some really weird stuff going on here. But realistically, what if the Haggy Waggy monster doesn't exist and it's the gas that's causing this behaviour? They came and they came and they finally came. Thank God. I hope we never see these corridors again, except in our bad dreams. But we still ended up in a mansion. This must be the real one. We've got to find out what's going on here as soon as possible. There are two doors on the sides, in which if you do something opens the main door in the middle. Some kind of sun. What does it mean to me? Nothing gives me even a clue. I'll have to find everything by feel. Need to run electricity again. Probably missing blocks. But how to get to them? Pepper, look carefully. Every detail counts. I think I've checked everything. Oh, I'm so blind. There's a hole in the floor. All this time there was a huge hole in the floor that I didn't see. I guess that hallway wore me out and I can't see anything in front of me. The fact that we found this hole is good, but it's not the point. The point is not to miss anything. I told you to look harder, but that advice doesn't seem to be working. If I see anything, I'll tell you what to do, but you better do it yourself. The main thing I can tell you is that there's that smoke again. Red smoke. If it causes hallucinations, we're not going to be okay. There, there's a race car. I can accelerate it and it'll break the crates. It's perfect. And it didn't seem to be a big deal. But Peppa, don't run in there as fast as you can. You see that smoke? It's dangerous. You can't argue with that. Oh, sorry. I wasn't listening. Well, what was I supposed to do? There's nowhere else to go. Is there anything else you need to do to the car? There was a stamp for my new glove. Maybe I could do something quick. Eh, uh, it's not working. How come? It's a mystery again. They used to be very simple, but now they're not obvious at all. You kind of have to figure it out yourself. Last time, the car flew into the crates and smashed through them. The car disappeared. Then I died, and I come through here again. I can't send the Magina back, but there's no crates. I can't go through there. How am I supposed to figure this out? Pepper, try going through the doors again. You haven't checked everything for sure yet. See? We finally found this place, and there's a hole in it. It still doesn't make any sense, but now we'll know where to go next. Oh, I can't get rid of this pit. Why is it there? What is the secret of this country? I don't get it. Well, let's move on. This place looks a lot more abandoned than it did before. It's scratched up like cats live here. Put that box away and move on. In all the time the game didn't try to scare you much, suddenly this location will want to fix that. Games they are very cunning, will scare you when you do not expect it most of all. Wouldn't want a monster to jump out abruptly? It's scary, yes, but so trivial. Ah, uh, that's just what you said, Mom. How timely and goes such a huge who. Who was that? I don't know what he's doing here. It's narrow and uncomfortable for such an animal. I hope that was the first and last time we saw him. The monster is gone. And hello, good old power again. Insert one and run like a fool looking for another. Who sticks them out anyway? Can't you keep spares next to the batteries? I'll be stopping by everywhere I haven't been yet. I feel like I've been everywhere I can and can't. 
I just need to learn to become very small and get into every crevice so I don't have to waste time looking for those batteries. Oh my god, it's Kissy Missy. Is she gonna eat me now? Or is she? She's looking at some painting. She doesn't notice me. Maybe I should leave her alone, but I wonder, why is she kind? I don't think she can just be kind. It's not real. All right, I'll leave her alone. I'm gonna keep running around. Pepper, knowing how you look around corners, I can tell you with 100% accuracy, you definitely missed it. Once we got to this house, it took you 10 minutes to find that huge hole in the floor in the middle. Who knows? Maybe now you'll have to really work hard to find it. We met the good Kissy Missy. Maybe if someone attacks us, she'll protect us and we can run around looking for something to do. Something's opened up. I found it. I'm ready to be scared. I'm ready to be killed. I'm ready for anything. But I don't want to go back to the street where I can choose a location. It's really scary out there without lights. Subject is stable. Designated 1322. Clear neural abnormalities were detected in his recent checkup. Though highly irregular, we've pulled him from the home sweet home just before lights out to perform. What are you doing with my friend? I... What are you doing out of bed? How did you get in here? Is Kevin sick? Oh, that's Why scary. It's just a bed and someone's sick. Yes. Kevin is very sick. Very, very sick. But we want to make him better. But he can only get better if we take him to where we can provide him. Just give him the medicine. And give him proper rest. Well, do you really think he will be okay? Just like you need it now, I should think. Come now, let's get you on back to bed. Oh, okay. It's been a pleasure meeting you, Joseph. And I promise you, your friend will be all right. When you see him again, he'll have never been better. It's like the man on the tape was lying a lot. And as far as I can tell, it's his wife who just took him at his word. I don't know what Kevin's sick with. But I can tell you I don't want to be sick with something. So Huggy Wuggy, for the safety of my health, get the hell out of this building. Oh, you don't care what I say? Something tells me if there's a disease involved, there's probably been some kind of experimentation on children. Maybe the toys that came to life are former children. At least, that's what it's alluding to. Then... I can see why Kissy Missy was kind and was looking at a portrait of a child. Maybe it's just her. But why are there evil dolls? Are children just resentful of being turned into ugly monsters? It's not just the child who would be resentful. I don't know if it's just my guess or if it's true. But I need to move on with the story. Peppa, what are you doing back in that hole? Get off of it. We're missing something. Daddy Pig, you've got a great idea. I honestly wouldn't have thought it could be this twisted. I thought it was all just a fairy tale. Yeah, bad, bad fairy tales. I think I need to look elsewhere. I've checked this place 100 times. Even the place with the tape didn't help. It was just a tape and a story. It was great. I need a generator. No, Pepper. You have to go back. If you found everything in this mansion, the main door with the sun emblem opens. But unfortunately, you haven't opened any of those doors yet. Come back. We'll see what we can do. All right. All right. I'll come back. Just what's in it for me? Do I have to look under every brick? Oh, yeah. I already did. There's nothing there. It's just a dead end. It's another trap. It's those monsters. And why won't the door open? There's no way. I'm always getting lucky with these things. Congratulations, Pepper. We're really trapped. I think it's a bug in the game. Or was it meant to be that you can't get into the house? How do we get through the game now? Do you have any ideas? It would be great if you could try to knock it out. Attempting to re-enter the number billion. The door's jammed. It's not funny anymore. 
It's not enough that I was just running around the map and couldn't find the generator. Now it's turned into a real horror. I'll try reloading the save. All Peppa, now it will definitely work out. Yes, all from the beginning in this location, but we did not do much. Sometimes games can hang and it's normal. Not everything works perfectly, especially such a fragile mechanism as games. They say that even a machine gun overheats. There's a lot of meaning in that phrase. I can explain. The machine gun is very powerful and very strong, but even if it shoots for a long time and shows everyone its power, it overheats and for a while cannot shoot. But it can also break. We have been playing for a long time, so just try not to blame the game. Now we will find all the generators and all the monsters too. All that's left is to find where to go next. Honey, you told a good story about the machine gun. I like how you accurately described that the game is a fragile process. It's up to you, Pepper. Think about where you haven't gone yet. Maybe there are parts of the playground where you haven't set foot yet. I don't know. Maybe you should be looking at the ceiling. Maybe it's stupid, but maybe there's a way up, and the most obvious way up. It's like a hole. I've learned that lesson. I don't want to repeat it. Oh, what is there to see? Should I go back and break the game again? Stuck between this door? Maybe that's actually the way to go. The game doesn't shy away from breaking my head more and more with each step. I wish this game had a head so I could break it. Come on, Pepper. Don't be mad. In situations like this, instead of getting angry, you can learn a lesson that the search can be hard, no matter what you're looking for. If it's something in plain sight, it can still be hidden to others. And vice versa, you just have to learn to control your anger and let it go to finding the passageway where your coveted generator will be. Maybe if I run back and forth, the exit will find me. Maybe I just need to make as much noise as possible so the monster will come and get us. Just take us in his arms and carry us away, even put us to bed. It'd be weird to fall asleep right now. I'm not even afraid of anything anymore. I'm gonna be the new Kissy Missy and Huggy Waggy. And here you are again! Look, what places look unfamiliar to you! I'll bet you a hundred percent that you've just passed every room, but you didn't look at the walls, the floor, the ceiling. There's a lot of places you don't look at and just run through. You can run back and forth a thousand times. The game won't just give up and say, Look, that's where you have to go. You're a fool. You know what? Let me take you there myself, and I'll run through it for you and enjoy it for you too. No, the game won't say that to you. You have to learn, learn from small. Pay attention to everything around you. I'm really trying. I'm saying I'll just run here and there. It's not just because I'm unhealthy. It's because I'm tired. I have a problem and no solution. How can I be in this situation? when I'm already looking for this place with all my might. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, I didn't realize it. There was just a rope dangling there the whole time telling me where this place was. It took a lot of time and effort, but I'm here. I'm finally here. Well done, Peppa. You see, you've been struggling for a long time and you did it, you did it. At first this task seemed easy, just find the passage. The game was easy before, but then came the first serious obstacle. I had to overpower myself many times to find it. Then the task began to seem impossible. Pain and fear mixed in a place, but everything, the place is found, which means the end of this test is near. Oh yes, and I see that generator. Oh little green cube. What misery you've brought me. I'd like to ask why, but I didn't. I just had to learn to get over myself. I want to be cool and super awesome and be able to handle anything that comes my way. That's how you have the best adventures. Yeah, you did it. Way to go. Hurry up and bring it in and turn it on. I can't imagine who watched it till now. Subscribers, you are the best. Like and subscribe to the channel. It was just a great and legendary adventure. Well done to all of us today.